everybody! So you may have noticed that I am not in my usual indoors area and in fact I'm not even in Canada anymore. I am back in New Jersey right now. So this video is a fall favorites video and I thought what better than to have us go outside and do it in the fall, in the autumn as it were, and enjoy all of the beautiful nature and the beautiful nature sounds that will almost undoubtedly ruin this video. Wow, isn't nature amazing? Let's appreciate it for a second. Well, enough of that. This time of year just always makes me want to like curl up and drink some yummy tea and read a good book. I wanted to tell you guys about this really awesome book that I've been reading, which you've actually probably even heard of because they're making it into a movie. It's called Fifth Wave. What's so cool about this book is like it's a modern apocalypse story, but it's not a love story and I really like that. Don't get me wrong, I like love stories a lot, but it's kind of nice to have a change of pace. So here's something cool. This book, this exact book that I am holding, is being sent around the world to a whole bunch of different YouTubers, and you can win it. You can win this actual book that I'm holding right now. I wanted to read you um, my favorite quote from the book. You know how you read something and you're like, hmm, that like resonates with me. So the quote is on page 96, and it's, you know how sometimes you tell yourself you have a choice, but really you don't have a choice? Just because there are alternatives doesn't mean they apply to you. And I really liked that because ugh, that's how I feel all the time. Sometimes when you're faced with a choice in life, you, you see that there are other choices, but if you're someone who, you know, you know yourself and you know what the right thing is to do, you, you can't just do those other choices. You have to do what the right thing is and what you would do. So I'm now going to sign the book. Sorry, I had to get it right. <laughs> Check out the fifth wave hashtag so that you can follow the book's journey and see where it's at and have a chance to win it yourself. The fifth wave movie with Chloe Grace Moretz is coming out soon. Oh my gosh, she is such a cutie. And all of the YouTubers involved in this tag are adding an item to the survival pack. So of course, I will be adding my own item, which will be tea. Is a world without tea worth saving? I don't know. The book would argue yes, but I, I don't know that I can back that up. The book is about an alien invasion and that's pretty much the spookiest thing that I can think of, so you're definitely gonna wanna read the book before the movie comes out, and that way you won't be too scared. I was tagged by Laguna Beach Love, and now I'm tagging Secret Life of a Bio Nerd. You should comment on this video and tell me what the one thing that you would bring in your survival backpack for the apocalypse. Last time I was in this forest, which is I'm legitimately in a forest right now filming this video, I saw two does walk across my path and then a, a buck, like a huge buck with antlers, like ran across and I was like, ah, because even though I'm from Canada, I've like never seen up close deer before so america is magical so on to my next favorite i've been super obsessed with david's tea for like the last six months but i know i'm still talking about tea shocker i didn't really start drinking david's tea until i moved to toronto they are the best loose tea i've ever had in fact, they are so good that every time I come on a trip to America, I go to David's Tea and I fill up my little canister. And actually, you can buy David's Tea in America. They're opening more stores all the time. There is one in New Jersey here, but I just, <laughs> I couldn't rely on that. Like, I had to bring my own. This one is Organic Cream of Earl Grey, which is my favorite. I've probably gone through about four tubs. Like, this is 100 grams about, one of these little containers. Uh... I love their cream of caramel rooibos. That's really good. They do a lot of really good chocolate teas. So if you like chocolate tea, you'd love them. Read My Lips is good. Chocolate Rocket's really good. I've tried a lot of them. Um, the Banana Split one, the Lime Gelato is good. Basically, David's Tea has my heart. I don't have a, one of those little collector points cards for basically anything, because I'm like, I don't shop there enough. But David's Tea, I'm a frequent steeper. That's a real thing. I didn't make it up. There's something about fall that I'm just like, okay, let's go full-blown witch. You've honestly seen me use this a billion times, so it should come as no surprise that I love this, but this is Burgundy Lip Pencil from MAC, which I'm wearing now, and I'm obsessed. This is my second one of these, and it looks so, mmm. I like it. I wanted to give a shout-out to a YouTube channel that I've been watching, like, a lot lately, and you probably have already heard of it. It's a cooking channel all about Korean foods. 
the channel Mang Chi. I just find her to be like so charming and adorable and that's a big bird and really knowledgeable about food. And honestly, watching her videos, I get excited to cook. I love Mangchi, she's so cute. So my friend Gal makes these really, really awesome pins. I have some that I really wanted to show you. So this one is an enamel pin with a screw back and it's super cool and also very relevant to what we're talking about. These kinds of enamel pins are so cute for fall because they're like, to me, they're super, classy and they look really nice on a cardigan or even on the lapel of like a dress shirt or something. How cute is that? It's metal. I thought this little pin was very apt. <laughs> I'll have links in the description of everything in this video so that you can check out all these really, really awesome um, websites and look at all these fun goodies for yourself. Last but not least, I wanted to show you this jewelry designer who I really, really like and I follow and her stuff is so cute. Her brand is Fatally Feminine Designs. You've definitely seen me wear this in prior videos because I wear it all the time. This is the most adorable little cake necklace that you've ever seen. It's like a little birthday cake and it has these little pearls. I think these are like the cutest earrings I've ever seen. Look, they're little gummy bears with bows. What? They're not actually edible. They just look like it. And they look good with um, any type of like pastel, maybe Lolita looks. You could totally do anything with these. But I also think they look really good if you're wearing like an all black outfit, like a fall type thing. And then you have maybe just a jewelry piece that's like super cute and adorable. And I like contrast. Contrast is so good. And I have some other pieces from her that I want to show you. This necklace has all these little pearls and jewels details and it's an adorable little pony with like icing hair. And it's a little cookie. It's not a real cookie. It just looks like it's a cookie, but look, ah, so cute, oh my gosh. And this one is probably my favorite for obvious reasons, cause it's mint and that's like, like my favorite color. But it's a little, it's a little, well, I'll come back. It's a little seashell. So you could be a little mermaid wearing it. Ah, oh, so cute. This one totally made me think of Twinkle Mermaid. Any Lolita fans will know what I'm talking about. This is such a Twinkle Mermaid necklace. This is a little animal cracker charm. He's got like a little pin on him so you could put him on whatever you want. But look, it's a little animal cracker. He's a camel. I really just like Fatally Feminine Designs because all of her charms and necklaces and everything look edible. You're good enough to eat and, and you wear them. I like that. I hope you enjoyed my fall favorites video. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. This is kind of the first one I've done in this style and I really like it because I like talking about stuff that I like and I'm enjoying at this current moment. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go traipse around in the woods and try not to get eaten by a bear. Okay, bye. I totally look like I could take on an alien invasion. Don't you think? I would best them all. I'd be like, ah, ah, ah. Not here. <laughs> this is my home. In the forest. Where I live. You're a bad boy, alien. Not here. This is my planet. Don't. Bad. And then they'd be like, oh, sorry. I didn't know. And then they'd be like, woo! That's what would happen.